Hey guys, I wanted to take a little bit of time today and just show you guys our transparent conductive electrode. Now you can see in this box we actually have our transparent conductive electrode. It's running in between these two pieces of copper tape. And this was coated right around six months ago or so. And since that time, it has actually has no protective coating and it's been on for around three months straight. And you can see um, when I turn it on and off that these LEDs are running just as well as they did when they were new. Now, obviously this material works really well to pass electricity through, but kind of one of the really cool things you can do with it is if I turn it off and then grab this really simple circuit I made on the Arduino today, and we hook it up, um, it can actually act as a capacitive surface. So if I turn this, plug this in, um, you're gonna see a light I'll turn on in a second. Um, and then every time I touch our material, it actually turns on and off that light. Now, to be honest with you, that's, I mean, it's kind of impressive, but it's not all that useful to be honest with you. However, this is the exact same way that our phones currently work, the touchscreens in our phone. And you can actually scale this up. And because of the way it's printed and because of the way that the particle is actually formulated, it is extremely flexible. The upshot of that is that you can use it readily in flexible touch screens. Now, I got stuck with this display um, after the pandemic and I had to self-isolate. So this is actually relatively low amount of transparency in this electrode right here. So we can certainly tailor it to a much higher degree, but currently what's being used is a material called ITO. And ITO works really well for that. However, it has one really big disadvantage, and that is that it is a ceramic and is very brittle. Um, now, to use for obviously folding phones, that's a lot of structural stress that's going into that. Um, so currently they're saying that the foldable phones probably have around a 2000 bend life cycle. With our material, you can certainly get quite a bit higher. Um, we actually had a demo that was almost finished. We were just putting the final touches, you know, making it look nice and pretty. Um, as soon as that happened, um, our lab unfortunately had to close down for a couple of weeks. So certainly keep your eyes open for that. We will definitely do a video to show you guys that once that's ready to go. And if you do have more questions about this material or what we do, we have a lot more information on our website at nanocnet.com or you can email me at tj at nanocnet.com and I will do my best to answer any of your questions. Have an excellent day and stay safe out there.